Oh. It's early. Mm -hmm. What? Dude, the last time I was over here, you only had one tire. How are we at three now? You know, gotta gotta do it for the team. Tire guy, right now. Not always, just right now. I think the bike's good. He came back. Seems happy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on most of the time. No. It's early. It's a little cold here, but it's gonna be a nice day. It's too cold for July. Yeah, but at least we don't have all that. We won't have that humidity today. So. Well, you gotta take the pants too because it, I ain't got no fucking jersey for the pants. You gotta take them both. Okay, sign them both. I'll just give it to the same fucking kid. Yeah. Hey. Pretty good. Yeah? How you feel? I feel good. I feel like people need to see the vlog. That should be good for the vlog. They need to see what? They need to see who's behind the camera in the vlog. Do they? Yeah. So if, maybe if you hand me the camera and then I show you off. Jesus Christ. Now he's having a film guy and the camera. Yeah, dude. Look. Oh. Yeah. oh, look, we're recording. So what's up, guys? This is my filmer. He's 100% uh, G with the... Uh, He's got, what we got? We got some Nike socks. We got some band high tops. We got the shorts, okay. We're trying to get those legs tan. We have a Swap Moto Live t-shirt. Let's go. I like that. There we go. All right, guys, this is my freaking, uh, this is my vlog guy. And then there's Mike cleaning all the doo-doo off my seat. <laughs> yeah, Zang said he hit that uphill triple. He did? He just practiced after you. Hey. Yes, sir.
the bike? Hey, homie. How was the bike? Hey, Ese. Ese. Ese, it looks a little dirty, Ese. Today. It started out cold, but it's like. Dude. Oh, what? It started out cold, but it's kind of hot. Yeah. Warming up, baby. It's warming up. Hey, you can see your breath this morning. It's supposed to be like low 80s. It's supposed to be perfect.
boy fresh. time baby let's do this No, not this time. I'm not taking any blame on that. Nope. Mm -hmm. Wasn't me. Airbox. Okay. And the ground wire. Let's see. Carter. Airbox is one. Let's get the throttle body out there. Well, let's get the throttle body on there before we drop stuff in there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I need a three. A three, Allen? Three, Allen. Smaller. I think it's. Hold on, we're, hold on, we're getting a note on right now. Right. It's got to go on the trial about a way to be tight. There it is. Just hold what you got for a second. I don't know if you're ready for hosts yet, I'm just kind of staging them. Anyways, so qualifying actually went pretty good. Uh, we're, we were P20 in the first practice, P19 in the second practice, but still like off a bit from Rod Bell, which, you know, I want to be, I want to be as fast as him in outdoors, dude. He's been riding really good. But uh, yeah, first moto, we got a great start. We were top 20. I was around 17, 18, first two laps. And then, uh, yeah, like a small washer that goes into the, into the engine from the, freaking uh, water hose or like the radiator hoses just went out all the radiator fluid came out and the bike overheated I had no idea bike blew up so that's what we're doing right now swapping engines Aish. but on the bright side I'm in one piece so that's a good thing and uh, yeah I will be super fresh for freaking moto 2 what do you think about the uh, track so far? It was rougher to Cobb in that moto. 
Yeah, I don't know. It, it's gonna be worse in a second moto, but we'll have to we'll have to make do and freaking grip it and rip it, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of lines out there. It's a lot of places to go, which was good. Um, they did a little bit of work to it after practice. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it was good. Yeah. Oh, elbow in the foot tank. Oh. These two Big washers? Yeah. yeah. I think the radio shut off, Jordan. Yep. You think, Chris? Fuck's my lighter at? Right here. Hey, look, it's on the floor. You all right, all these clamps on this side are tight. Okay. Yeah, now you good. Now you agree. I can't wait to see management. Like I can't wait to see management when you when you do these executive oh, hey, orders. Hey, no, listen. All right, management. Whenever I have that black shirt on, I'm like, hey, swap it. Swap it. Hey, 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 hey focus on what you're doing. Hey, back. Back. Put my damn. My head you put it upside down. Yeah, you're about to put it you upside put it down. down. Well, I mean, you don't really need it one, right? You put the mid midsection pipe in the front? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Jace. It's in the preview. <laughs> so I'm trying to hold the fucking thing. Motor, yeah, motor. Another one? Yes, sir. This guy can do math. <laughs> 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 Another one? <laughs> yep. Was it DJ Khaled? Another one. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> That's a good engine too. I know. That's why I left it in there. Was like, you think if this was last year, this old operation would be over? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're still doing better than we did last year. Hey, we're doing good. We're crushing. Hey, if you're bored, there's an engine right there. It's pretty broken. <laughs> Probably gonna take it apart and see what Need an engine stand? There's one right behind you. Oh, oil. I'm wondering why there's no fucking oil in there. Hey. You, uh, you got any thoughts on what happened? Uh, the, it looks like there's a little O-ring on the coolant inlet connector that goes into the head. Looks like that O-ring may have failed. So coolant was leaking out of there and it probably wasn't creating enough pressure to keep some of the coolant up in the cylinder area. And uh, the cylinder got really hot. Maybe the piston was not fully seized, but it's dragging like crazy. Because uh, when I came back and drained it, most of the coolant came out. So it wasn't running dry. I just think uh, the coolant wasn't staying up top because of that o-ring and uh probably probably did something with a piston and cylinder or stuff like that so new engine original race engine that we started with fully rebuilt so maiden voyage on this rebuilt engine try to salvage something other this weekend in moto 2. looks like oil pump problem yeah right up top yeah <laughs> like the first moto was like the last draw. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the first one I was just like, yeah. That's actually. Well, was probably management. Management material. Here at Extra Racing, we give you the tools to be your own boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Here with an extra corporate structure. <laughs> literally give you your own tools to be your own boss. Yeah, literally. I'll give you some tools and you figure out your shit. I'm trying to fix at home, but the line boring situation is the problem. 
and getting it straight and back yeah, square. Yeah, Yeah. <laughs> miss a bolt somewhere? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Put your head on. She's money. Crank? Crank feels good too, yeah. Did it like stress it at all? Think? Not really, probably not. Was the uh, spark plug clip still on you? No, not in the head. That cap thing? Yeah, just a fucking no. hair thing. This? No. That's for a brace. So it seems A Ray Mechanic here <laughs> with a homie. We're looking at the engine. It seems that we're having a oil pumping issue. Okay, we're not getting oil to the top of the engine, and that is what's making the bike hot and making it blow up. What is the oil pumping issue? Mm -hmm. So what's our thought process now on this? New clutch. New clutch? And the head. Clutch and the head. Oops. Wasn't me this time. Moto 2, a lot better. Um, got a pretty good start. Was uh, in like 24th and then just started picking some guys off. Got 18. Um, stoked. Bike worked great. And yeah, it's overall a good day minus the uh, DNF in the first moto, but that happens. So on to Washugo. Oh, you gotta give you gotta give it all. You gotta get the full set, dude. So, so like. Thing about it is you give a jersey and then you just got pants you got a ton of pants 
you gotta get it off. True. I, I guess. I could do that. You can't okay. have one even Bro, sets. and plus, this is O'Neill Harper pants. These things are gold. These things are the best. Is that not production? No, they're a production. Okay. But they're the best. O'Neill, enjoy the ride. <laughs> RDX 2.2 are the best boots. RDX 2.2. RDX. Okay, so O'Neill has this uh, this boot. It's called the O'Neill RDX 2.2. Ah. Like, low key. Form us. The O'Neill boot is so comfortable. <laughs> you wouldn't think it at all. You wouldn't think it at all, but it, it's a game changer. Game changer. I've been wearing it all of, year. I've heard a lot of people get hurt in uh, the new Alpine stars. There's been a lot of foot injuries in those, from what I hear. Well, Just because the boot fits like a shoe, there's almost no protection. O'Neill RDX 2.2s. <laughs> Get yours. <laughs> look, okay, look. Blowing up an engine. All kinds of stuff. I need some help. Go to alexray.co. Buy some sketchy merch. Like this video. Subscribe. Get these numbers up. We're slacking, bro. We're slacking on numbers. So, uh, yeah. Let's go. Watch you go. Tim was saying, his guy is like, yo. I don't know, he's like, dude, you should race. I'm like, okay. I mean, flight's booked. I'll race. I'll race. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. No way. Yeah, Dougie's in the car. I'm the one that's going to call Dougie. No shit. Yeah, I said, call Dougie.